Hello fellow 7 days day to die gamers, this is Games for Kicks and welcome to episode 28 of my Let's Play series. In this series we're going to explore the west. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm in my mine. As you can see I have upgraded my mine. Put a little sofa in, a few wild parties here last night, chilling out, a cooker, forge, just making it all, you know, a bit homey. You can put your stuff in here. I have a fridge, yay! cold beverages and it has an ice maker just can have your whiskey on the rocks I have a little door here leading right down into our mine shaft as you can see I built down the stairs I have made it look a little bit prettier than it was here you go and here is your entrance to your mine shaft so here you go there's some iron ore a nice beautiful vein of iron ore and as you can see here is coal this is just a very beautiful source so if this would be your single player map you can be sure that at this little prefab area when you come by you have everything you need now let's explore the west i have with me not enough food i will get some food from the main house before we leave i do I need all this? Yes, I do. This is basically what I'm gonna take with me because I want to build um, a pretty uh, nice tower, actually, if I can. So, um, there's some footsteps here, so let's close that door and let's see. Oh, look at that, look at that. Let's see what they're gonna do. Come on. You gonna come down? You gonna come on the roof? You gonna show me how awesome this roof is? You gonna come down? Ah, come on, don't be lazy walking all the way around. Well, it's the opposite of lazy, I suppose. Well, in that case, you have no use to me. I might as well just smash you. Okay, we're going back to the base. So, let's go back to the base because we have to go north anyway before we go west. I'm going to explore the west along the road and... Oh, hello. There we go, right on the noggin. And ignore all those zomboids, or zombies, zeds, freaky looking dudes, whatever you want to call them. Now, there's a few things I might want to take with me that um, I don't have on me and that is food. I want to take some food with me. I want to take... Uh, here's the food. Let's take these three cans with me. I'm not going to go looting. I'm literally just going to ignore everything along the way. And I need some cloth fragments because I need to be able to make a bed. So I'm gonna take it, you know what, because that way I can keep continuously pick up cotton. I might as well do that. Okay, cool. Now, let's go. It's a beautiful morning. The sun is out. We're ready to explore. Oh, hello. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You were waiting for me, where are you? That's very rude. I, I was just minding my own business. Okay, let's let's put that in there. And let's put a ladder bag on that. That's just so extremely rude what you guys are doing. There you go. And I can take that block away again, can I? No? No. Nah. Ah yeah. No matter. You're costing me valuable exploring time. Come on. Ah. I want to cover that. Thank you. There we go. Now, beautiful sunrise. Goodbye, house. Goodbye. Let's travel the road and see what will happen. No, I'm not going to waste my time picking up anything. I will just follow this 
road right here. I'm gonna take a bit of a shortcut. Can I take this? No, I have no room. Do I? No. I might as well take this and put this here. Okay. Whoa, dude. Don't you lose the sledgehammer. You don't lose the sledgehammer. Okay. We are gonna go as far west as we can. And see where the day brings us. I'm gonna run until my energy is gone and then I'm just gonna walk a little bit until it's full again. Maybe we come across a prefab. If not, at around 6 o'clock I would say or 5 o'clock I want to start building. Oh, there's food. Oh, I should have left some room for meat. I think there was a deer jumping up and down there in the distance. Ah, well. No matter. Let's just ignore those zombies. Good morning, fellas. It's a beautiful morning, isn't it? Yes. And sunny it is. No rain and not a cloud in the sky. Oh, look at that, guys. We were looking for a cliff. There's another cliff here. Now, a cliff like this is very beautiful. Like, if you have the time to build a base and you can build, build walls all around. You can even put a roof, actually, like, between the cliff. And have it with log spikes all across. Nobody is going to get into that. Log spikes, I still think, are a little overpowered in seven days to die. And, I mean, you just have three rows of log spikes. And I don't, you, you don't even need a tough structure. I mean, any structure will do. A wood structure will do. So, we have the zombies on max spawn even. So, we'll see what comes out of that. Now, as you can see here, oh, there's water. We are probably going to hit a new biome. That is interesting. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Let's see. Looks like we are still continuing into a forest biome. Okay, that's fair enough. I can live with that. I would love to find a prefab area somewhere. Now, while we are excitingly, excitedly, waiting for Alpha 10 of this game, the guys are releasing on their blogs bits and bits of information. They have screenshots posted of backpacks. So, I don't know if they come in Alpha 10, but backpacks, really cool. They're looking good. I mean, it's, I think it's Joel. Is uh, I can't really Google right now, but uh, uh, Joel has his Tumblr blog, and he's... Um, Joe or Joel, apologies if I got the name wrong, one of the fun pimps anyway, he has this uh, blog on Tumblr, posting every now and then updates on what they're working on, and I have to say now, we have some changes coming in, hopefully with Alpha 10 in farming, we can finally make some golden rod tea, farming, that is awesome, you, your hoe will also correctly now remove the, the grass on top, making it um, farmable dirt or fertile dirt. Uh, a bit like in Minecraft, I suppose, where you can hit on the top until it becomes brown and you can put your seeds on top. What do we have here? Is that water? Or is that... Okay, 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 fair enough. It's nothing too majorly interesting. Okay. Then, the backpack is already matched. Excuse me. It looks really awesome. It's, it's a normal backpack, but um, I don't know exactly how it works out with the storage room. If when you open this, you will see maybe a backpack here on the side with storage room. I mean, that would be pretty awesome, to be honest. So, it means you can carry around more. Oh, we're coming at to a crossroad. Okay, now let me think. You guys said you want me to go v the west, so I will go continue west, but I put a wave point here on that just to be on the safe side. I also want to pick up a little bit of cotton on the way, so I definitely have enough to make a bed when the time comes. Hopefully I don't have to dig a little one-man hole just for the night. If it if we don't find a prefab, what I'm actually going to do is I want to continue exploring, okay? I... Before Alpha 10 comes, I want to actually discover a little bit more of the map than I currently have. So, which means I will be going through the night. 
which means we will be a lot of crouching and stealthing so that we hopefully not detect it. Okay, so let's see, a little bit to drink. Now, the other thing they have released is armor, images on armor, and different clothes, tank tops for the girl. I don't know if that's her default clothes or not, or if that's something you can craft. Another thing I would like to see personally, and I don't think, uh, I haven't read anything about it, so I'm just making this up now that I, uh, in the sense of that I, that I think it would be nice, is die, okay? I mean, people build some really awesome buildings, and they build really, really cool structures, but in the moment, to get a certain effect uh, or color match, they are forced to build with certain materials. And some materials are not as structurally sound as others. So, which means you don't want to build a massive structure with wood, if you could use stone or metal but metal and stone looks ugly for what you want to do so I'm trying to see if there's a prefab no nothing there but then you're forced to use different materials to get it for color effect and I do like I know you can build like red wood in the sense the rich wood which is basically wood and uh, red flowers but that's not really dying that, that that's just building red wood it would be nice if we could just pretty much just have like a, a brush in your hand um, with a certain color on it and like a color brush and then right click on a, a tile and yes we're getting into a snow biome look at that so we discovered something new this is pretty cool and I think we are traveling a lot I mean this took us now about two and a half hours and that was with occasional running so this is pretty awesome so we're in the snow biome now surviving the snow biome is gonna be tough it's cold there's no animals except rabbits I think I'm not even sure if deer are actually in the snow biome and the zombies in here they are certainly not the meager kind. They're, they're the lumberjacks that will smash your skulls quite literally. This looks all really amazingly beautiful. You may even forget that we're living in a zombie infested world. This is pretty cool. Now we follow the road in the hope that we will come across a prefab area, a couple of buildings not too much. One is enough actually, it's just to hide in for the night. But, oh, I ended up going south. We want to go west. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if I go now north, northwest, if I will come to another road. Because, uh, yeah, I want to I keep going west and see what happens. So let's go right through this snow biome. And let's get lost in the middle of the snow forest. I mean, that's awesome, right? Okay. It puts a bit of a spin on this whole series now. Get a little bit of action. Maybe I even die and lose all my stuff. Who knows? Though I don't think I want to let that happen. Oh, yeah, I don't want to make too much noise, so if I can, I will take these guys out quietly. There we go. Nice and easy. Awesome. Sniper. From the distance, all you can hear is a uh, little sound cutting through the wind, and then right into the back of the head. All right, let's keep going a bit more north and see if we can catch up with another road. Okay, so I'm here now. We're getting slowly back to that west we were talking about. And we'll see where we get. I mean, eventually that snow has to end, I'm sure. Now, yeah, that's the only updates I could see. So there will be huge changes in farming in, uh, in Alpha 10. Um, not changes as much as additions, I believe, and fixes. But yeah, it, look, it looks awesome. Now, I have no idea 
how far away Alpha 10 is. Oh, this looks kind of nice. It's a coal or Earth. It's probably Earth. But I'd rather wait a little longer and get an extremely packed update, well worth it, that you even have to... If you even if you're a seasoned player, that you literally have to... I, I like this about... Uh, this is the only thing I like about Alpha, that even if you're a seasoned player, you may know the basics, and that's all great, and that's all grand, but content patches could be full of changes to such an extent that the way you build structures changes, the way the weight distribution blocks could change anything. I mean, that that's what makes it interesting. Now look at this. This is water, I assume. Is it not a road? Yes. Okay, we are slowly getting back. So let's go across the pond. Well, it's only a little pond, is it? Oh, well, it's actually it's quite a big riverish body of water. It's a big lake. So, ah, look at this. We have the border. We have water. This is interesting. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow this. So, oh, no, no, not south again. North, north. Look at the radar right in the middle on the bottom of your screen. I never look at it and I keep getting lost with my directions and then think, oh, I must be very far north now. And all of a sudden I look and I'm like, no, you're all the way south down in the map. So we're running out of food actually. So this makes this episode even more interesting now. <laughs> is there an animal over there or is that a carton or what is that? No, it's not an animal, it's a box. Oh! I can hear somebody or something hiding in the bushes. Oh, look at that! Nice! Whoa, 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 there's something close, alright. Oh, I just did it one step too much. Now, let's just continue. Run, 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 run. We must be coming to a road, hopefully soon. And still no prefab. It is quarter to two. We have not found anything. Oh, there's something. I think I believe we're coming to a crossroad. That would be pretty awesome. I think, and maybe this is only my imagination. I think if I, because I'm keep running and sprinting, that my hunger actually lowers quicker as well. But again, that could be just me imagining things now, but um, it feels like that sometimes. Okay, I love the sound change. Winter. Ooh, cold wind. Ooh, summer. Birds, sunshine, river noise. <laughs> oh, this is so freaky. Let's go across, because we are now approximately parallel to where we want to go. So, this river obviously goes up here and meets here. So let's, whoops, let's go across the pond or the river and get into more sunny surroundings. I need to find a place to stay the night or at least find a road or something near a road that would be, that would be nice, that would be appreciated. So, let me know if exploring is something you would like to see more. If not, I, I understand. It's perfectly um, valid. Um, if you want to see more mining, then absolutely I can do that as well. But I just try to change things up a little bit so that some people maybe have find it more interesting to do this while others find it more interesting to do another thing so I just kind of want to switch and swap a little bit to keep the pace okay we are getting nowhere so far there could be nice uh, something in the woods a nice house or something that would be pretty sweet we keep going north, so let's keep going west now. Yeah, 
this seems to be like a big river. Maybe there's a house on a river, on a lake. So, I mean, usually lakes, they have buildings. I mean, big lakes have the house by the lake. It has to be haunted. And people must have died in it. That's what makes it interesting and worthwhile to stay the night in. We're truly lost. We're nowhere near a road, I would imagine. And we're nowhere near... Oh, hello. Do you have any food on you by any chance, good sir? May I check your pockets? You have nothing. You're of no use to me. Oh, yes. They don't really have food anymore. Is that a river or a lake or a road or what is it? It's another little lake. All right, all right. No sports bikes lying around. No, no. Okay, we're slowly getting lost, more and more lost. And it's now a quarter to three. We might have no choice but to start thinking about where we might build our little... Oh, this looks kind of quaint. But that's not what I want or had in mind to build. <laughs> oh, look at that little island. Okay, it's not a little island, it's like a... Whoa! These cliffs, look at the amount of coal. I think that's... Oh, this is all coal in there. That is beautiful. But I'm not gonna go over there because I don't want coal right now. But that is... This is a good area. I mean, you build a house here, you have probably enough raw materials over there to last you half a lifetime. And it just keeps going. Oh, look at that! That is beautiful to look at. No, I'm, pro I'm gonna look at this and I'm probably missing all the prefabs over on the other side. No, no prefabs there. Okay, let's go west again. Possibly behind the lake and see how that's going. There's not many interesting things. Ha oh, is that a building? Is that a building? No, it's another cliff. First, we can't find cliffs. No, all we can find is cliffs. A road! Yes! We have found a road. How many roads must a man go down? Seven. The answer is seven. <laughs> uh, okay, where are we? Let's see. We're going back south. Yeah. This is quite a run we have done here. I think I will continue on for a little while longer on this road. Just to see if we can come across anything interesting. But if we're not... Okay, another crossroad. Okay, that I probably should build... I should probably should build here. Yes, I will build on this crossroad because it's getting late and we should probably start thinking about food and all sorts of things. And I have no food on me, so we probably want to think about hunting. Is there any animals around? No. All right, all right. So yeah, this is probably where I want to build. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Okay, so I have all the materials here. This is for my spider tower. And I leave it like this for this episode. And please join me in the next episode when we are building our little outpost here and try to find some food. If I don't find food soon, I will start losing sta health. I mean, I have plenty of tablets with me, so I can stand quite a lot of pain before I start dying, but obviously we want to find some food. So, yeah, I'm just trying to think. No, I don't need anything else. Okay, I will leave this for now. I will start building in the next episode I will start building my spider tower. I'm looking forward to it. It's basically, it's nothing new, it's a, it's a, it's a normal tower, but uh, it will have a nice way of getting in and out of it, which um, 
I have to thank, I believe it was J.R. Blitz, but I will make very sure I get the right person's name. And they mentioned a shark cage, a 3x3 building, but of course I don't like 3x3 buildings, like because, uh, well, personally I do, and they're quite handy, but in Let's Play episode I want to build something big, or biggish. So we're gonna do that, and it's gonna look awesome, octopusy, spidery like. So join me next episode when we build this tower. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Uh, we did some exploration. I hope you enjoyed my mine, the way I pimped it out a bit and got a fair idea of what you can do with your mine. And until then, this is Games for Kicks and happy gaming.